Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today I have a quick tutorial for you. Let's get started. Um, this is very practical. As always, if you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to click the link in the description, go over to the blog post. Um, so what we're doing here is providing a quick little solution. Um, anytime that you have a post or archive title in the theme builder using dynamic content, there's no way to change the heading level. Let me show you what I mean. So if you're in here, now you could, let me explain something. You could use um, the post title module. Post title, right? Notice that it added the title, some meta here, like the author and the date and comments and the featured image, right? So here's some elements in here. Um, I could turn these on and off and um, adjust the title right here. Now, I don't like that. And so if you already use that and you don't want to change, you don't need this tutorial. The reason I don't like that, first of all, all these options need to be turned off. Most of the time when I'm adding it, I want my featured image as a, you know, like this, a uh, featured image. Um, and then a lot of times it's just easier. Let me show you why it's easier to use a text module. All right, so we add a text module and then click here, this dynamic content icon use dynamic content, and then we can choose any of these options. Now this post archive title is like when we want to show a blog post title or the category page name, uh, anything like that will automatically show. And it just adds it there um, as plain text. It's like in a world of its own. It doesn't, it's not like a paragraph or an H1 or H2, but anyway, we need to specify that. So click here and you would think we could somehow just say H1, H2, but we can't. So we have to do it with code and that's very easy. Just go here and type this like that H1. So it's like a, uh, I never know what the name of those keys are. Carrots, left carrot, I think it's called. And then for the second one, you would add a forward slash H1. So the only difference between the before and after, um, this one just has H1 surrounded by those. And then this has the forward slash before the H1. So it's closing it out. Uh, it's not necessarily, it's not necessary, but um, we're trying to be code it properly, even though it would work if you did it. But anyway, that's added now, and you can see that the text itself got bigger. So if I go in here to heading text, this remember this is a text module. The reason I use a text module more than likely, I would have already had my heading level set in a preset, right? So I would have already had maybe maybe this would have been bold or maybe, you know, I would have had my responsive settings set here. Maybe for um, desktop, it was going to be like that big. And then, you know what I mean? Different sizes. So now I've got to go through um, and set it all up. But if I had it a preset already, then I'm done. So one of the reasons I use this rather than the post title, if I had a preset, I would have had to make a preset for that post title also. And you know, I'm too lazy to do that. Why not just do it easier with this? Um, so this is much easier. Now, if I go and view the post and inspect it, this will, the title will be wrapped in an H1 tag. That's great because it's the, you know, the, the top heading level, the, the title of the page. That's all there is. Um, again, you can adjust the design settings however you want here now. It's really that easy. Um, I have some written instructions here. Um, but yeah, it's very easy, it's very quick. Um, hope you like that. All right, let me know what you want to see next, what kind of quick tips like this or full tutorials, whatever it is that you want to see, let me know in the comments. And um, if you enjoyed this, if you are using this, give me a thumbs up and that'll be helpful. All right, well, we'll see you all in our next video.